back to the G-Zone Connection Corner. My name is Minister Tavera Stith, and I am here and really excited to talk to you today about our scripture lesson and to also share an exciting experiment. But before we get that, as usual, we have to go over our praise reports and prayer requests. And today we have a special treat. I asked Denim and Dash if they didn't mind sharing their praise reports and prayer requests. And here is what they shared. I'm Denim, this is my little brother Dash. And we're gonna tell you our prayer request. You wanna go first? Yeah. What's this, your prayer request? This is my prayer request that we could, that I wanna see my family and friends and that this coronavirus goes away so I can see all my friends and family. And my prayer request is that is that this coronavirus goes away just like that shit, and that I get to see my friends, and my family. Now up for a prayer report, pra praise report. My prayer report is my praise report is thank God for waking me up this morning and giving me another beautiful day. What's your prayer report? The same thing Denim said, and that Jesus woke us up this morning, and that is like a beautiful, beautiful day. This day. Bye, Jesus. Bye, Jesus. Thank you, Denim and Dash, for those praise reports and prayer requests. Like so many others, you too are hoping that this crisis ends soon so that you can get back to hanging out with your friends and hanging out with your family. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, let's get into our word. First, I want to teach you maybe two new words. Maybe these are words you've heard before. The first word is anxiety. How many of you have ever heard the word anxious or anxiety? Or have you ever been worried like we talked about last week or anxious about something? You're nervous about what's coming. It's something new. Well, the definition of anxiety is a feeling of worry or nervousness or unease, typically about an imminent event or something that is uncertain or has an uncertain outcome. I think I felt a lot of anxiety around what's happening with COVID-19. When will we go back to school? When will we be able to head back to church? There's so much to be anxious about. But wait a minute, there's also a lot of what I would call anticipation. That's the other word we wanna talk about today. This word anticipation. So. What does anticipation mean? It means the action of anticipating something, an expectation or a prediction. So here in this moment, we have a lot of people anticipating when we will be able to go back to school and when we will be able to go back to church or go to the grocery store or not have to wear gloves and masks. All of that is happening at the same time. So what's the difference between being anxious and anticipating something? Well, I don't know that anxiety has to be all bad. Sometimes anxiety comes, but it's because something new is happening or something good is happening. And so just like in our first video, I want you to think about the new hats you can wear and the new things that you can think about even at this time. But this also makes me think about the journey of Jesus, particularly as we get closer to Good Friday, when we uh, commemorate Jesus's death on the cross, and when we get excited about what's going to happen on Sunday morning when Jesus raises from the dead. And so when we think about that, one of the things I want us to pay attention to is a scripture where I think Jesus may have been feeling a little bit of anxiety, but also a little bit of anticipation. Let me read and see if you see both of those things in the word as well. Let's start um, by going to the New Testament. And then we're gonna to travel to the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John is one of the first few books in the New Testament. And we're gonna to go to John, the 12th chapter, and we're gonna look at verses 12 through 16. Again, that's the Gospel of John in the New Testament, and we're gonna look at verses 12 through 16. And here's how it reads. The next day, the great crowd who had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. 
Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. And in verse 16 says, at first, his disciples did not understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. So, wow. When we think about anxiety or being anxious um, or anticipation, first, let's look at the anticipation the people probably felt. They heard about Jesus and all the miracles he had done. Man, he had just raised Lazarus from the dead. He had done so much for the people and they couldn't wait to see him. And so they honored him by taking the palm branches off the trees and they're waving them saying, Hosanna in the highest. But wait a minute. Jesus knows that this is a moment that they've talked about before. And so in this moment, he says, well, let me get the donkey because I have to fulfill what we call a prophecy. So at this very moment, do you think Jesus was feeling anxiety because he knew that his death was coming? Or was he feeling anticipation because the people were finally realizing that he was king and that he comes in the name of the Lord? Whatever is the case, we know that this moment ushers in our celebration of Jesus making the ultimate sacrifice to die for our sins. So whether we have anxiety or anticipation, what we know is that Jesus has paid it all for us. And so there is maybe no need, as I said last week, for us to worry because we know Jesus has done with his sacrifice all that needed to happen to make us closer to his father. So whether you have anxiety or anticipation, know that Jesus is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, and he came to save you and me. Welcome to the experiment portion of our G-Zone Connection Corner. Okay guys, this one hopefully will be really fun and not too messy. So we earlier talked about the word prophecy and someone anticipating something that's to come. Scientists use a little bit of a different word. It's called an hypothesis. It's when they make a prediction about what's going to happen when you put two things together. Today, we're going to do what we call a chemical reaction by mixing two things, baking soda and vinegar. Some of you may have already done this in school. But today, we're gonna hope to blow up or make big our gloves. So first, you need the baking soda and the vinegar and a glass jar. I've already put some vinegar in the glass jar, but let me just pour a little bit more to make sure we have enough. Oh man, that vinegar is strong. So we're just gonna pour a little bit more in our jar and close that up. Now, it's time for the baking soda. Now, if I know this is gonna have a chemical reaction, if I just poured it in there, that would be the end. But I wanna see if it will blow up our glove here. So first, I'm gonna take a spoon, and this is where it gets a little messy, and I'm gonna put some baking soda. Uh-oh. I'm a little anxious, and I'm anticipating what's gonna happen into our glove. Hopefully I didn't use too much. So we're gonna take the glove and we're gonna put it around the mouth of the jar. And just because I'm a little nervous that it's not gonna actually blow up, but it's gonna pop off and go everywhere and I don't wanna make a big mess in my kitchen, I'm gonna put a rubber band on it just to reinforce it. Okay guys. All right, so we've reinforced it. We've got our vinegar and our baking soda. Now it's time to tilt and pour it in and see if the glove actually blows up. I'm anxious and I'm anticipating it's gonna work. Ready, set. Oh. Let it go. Wow, how cool. 
we call carbon dioxide by mixing our baking soda and our vinegar. Is that not the coolest ever? I was anxious and I was full with anticipation of whether or not it would work, but it did. And here we have this blown up balloon um, or blown up glove. How amazing is that? Well, thank you for joining me for the G-Zone Connection Corner and for joining me in what is our wacky, crazy experiment. I hope your parents will let you do this. We'll put some directions below to make sure you don't make a mess, but you have a good time experimenting with science and realizing it's okay to be a little bit anxious and it's okay to have a little bit of anxiety because sometimes really cool things happen. God bless you. Be encouraged and know that you have your G-Zone family loving you. And thanks again to Denim and Dash. Have a great day.